what is the function what is the function of watch no, the watch does nothing to time time is the time exactly so if there is me so i would say watches informs people and so when i have a look at this i see that it's time to make a break yeah and then i'm informed my level of inform information is it has risen a bit agree so this is a function of watch uh, what is the function of car to move me, for example, or a cargo from point A to point B, like like this. Uh, what is a function uh, of uh, of uh, of sunglasses? Sunglasses. To no, to protect is not legitimate, but, but it does nothing to eye. That is very important. It's very. I like this this you know like this kind of <laughs> mistakes because it's a it's an indicator of you know of progress. I would say yeah. So no. Yeah, to protect is not legitimate function because any protection system does nothing to it. I would say, yeah, helmet to protect, to protect head. No, it destroys head in a way. Helmet is heavy, so it deforms you. Helmet prevents air to ventilate you, so you are overheated a little bit and all these problems. So helmet is harmful for the head. If you, if you are very cynical, never try to tell it to you know, anyone. To, to <laughs> wear, wear the helmet, but if something happens, helmet destroy, uh, deflects bullets, yeah? Or when you fall down helmets from the bicycle, helmets create this kind of safety distance. So anything that would create a distance from your head, from your valuable head to the, to the asphalt would be called helmet. I don't know how. Imagine a coating on asphalt, <laughs> that even if you fall down, the coating creates a distance. Well, fine, we are safe. It's, it, would, it would be called helmet, surprisingly enough. Because of sinking inertia, sinking inertia, we are trapped. We call helmet a kind of ugly thing made of metal and so on. But let us focus on function. So what is the function of helmet? To deflect bullets yeah, and to stop bullets, that is legitimate. So before we go again to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to the next chapter, let me ask you a tricky question. What is the function of a, of a lubricant? There is a bearing, and you add some oil, for example, yeah? And the idea is to, uh, to, you know, to lubricate. <laughs> what is the function of lubricant? And again, try to follow this like, mm, mm, mm. Reduces friction. Is friction material object? No, so it doesn't work. It's like it increases temperature. That is, it doesn't work. It has to be another material object or tangible, something tangible, yeah? Some interaction between them and something needs to, to happen. What? Why do we need lubricant? What is the function of it? If you are afraid of bearing, you can think about anything you make, like, you know, sliding, like a, a lubricant, I don't know. Mm. Like oil, lubricate. Very good. So, what is the function of lubricant then? What does it mean to stay between surface? Surface. So, if if it were no lubricant, what is going to happen? Uh, exactly. Exactly. So, and, and it is very very important. Yeah. So that's exactly uh, what is going to happen when you add some lubricant. You expect nothing, but to to just to separate, to make a very small film of, of lubricant between two surfaces. Okay? So not to smoothen the surface, because you do nothing to surface. So this is surface one, and this is surface two, like this. And if they sit on each other, they, 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 they really, they, there is a lot of friction. Okay? So when you add anything, a very thin film of lubricant is able to create a kind of a kind of surf, a, a kind of distance which it separates. That's very impressive. Let us assume we want to generate ideas for our customer who is tea boil company, and they want to generate a kind of out of box, a kind of inventive lubricant. And if you think, if you believe that the function of lubricant is lubricate, it does not develop you any further. You still will stay the same. What are other lubricants? But if you think that the function of lubricant is to create distance, then possibly your solution would be completely out of box. Completely out of box. Do you follow the logic? Yeah. So what could create what 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 could what could create uh, uh, the, the 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 space little space anything? What could create? 
anything that would create a space between two rough surfaces would be called lubricant. So any any other physical approach, phenomena, anything that could create a space. Fun, wonderful, yeah. If we charge them positively, for example, both, that they don't like each other. And we got something that is called magnetic suspension. And there is a commercially realized device that is called magnetic levitation bearing. Yeah? You know what bearing is. Yeah, typically there are rolls. And if they don't happy with, if, are not, if they are not happy with rolls, they add uh, just, uh, they call it uh, hydro, hydro levitation uh, uh, bearing. So it is just oil, and when it rotates at high speed, it flies on it. Even better, if we are not happy with rotation, if we want to rise rotation rate, that is, by the way, like Olympic Games. E any laboratory wants to demonstrate the highest ever rotation rate. But like like 5,000 rotations per second. 5,000 rotations per second. Imagine, like, like this current, current range. It is very good to have high rotation rate because of many reasons. For example, if you want to, uh, to, uh, to conserve energy, to have energy, to have, it's, it's called uh, mechanical uh, energy storage. So you can just rotate it and, and, and keep it in, in, in case something happens. In all nuclear power plants, they have uh, emergency energy storage as a kind of uh, a flying wheel rotating in the high speed. You know why? Because if something happens, if terrorist explodes, everything battery cannot be used, but you need badly energy. What for? With this energy, you need to pump water to cool down reactor. Okay, so they just they keep it. It's like a flying wheel that sleeps. It's called sleeping wheel. It sleeps. <laughs> but if something happens, you can harvest energy. For approximately 20 minutes is enough to, to start diesel generator, anything, to do anything, but you have 20 minutes of it. Okay? So if there is any friction of the support, you are losing energy. But if you levitate it, <laughs> then it is nothing. It's, uh, there, is all, all, uh, there, is, uh, there are still some losses. Of course, it's not perpetual motion machine. Yeah, but there are much, much less losses. So levitate like this. Any other idea? Anything could make a kind of distance. Small balls, anything. I don't know what. Electrostatic could be magnetic, could be electrostatic. Any force that separates. Well, again, if you are expert in the field, now it's very critical. <laughs> why, that is why it's very good to be expert, because you know some amazing phenomena that could make the distance. And it's not, it's realistic. And for example, uh, I'm an expert in uh, oscillations, and I know that vibration can create distance. Did you know that? That if you apply vibration, then you can reduce friction. 